What's going on everybody? Jerry with 3HP. I've got some amazing news. I'm printing a Xenomorph Alien 7 foot tall. We'll get into it right after this. Welcome back guys. Um, yeah, you know, I, I print a lot of models. I do a lot of this and a lot of that as everybody knows. And I figured, you know what, Wicked came out with an amazing diorama from the movie Aliens. And uh, I got the Queen Alien and the, the Power Loader with Ripley. And I've got a Xenomorph Alien and a few other characters to go with it. And I figured, you know what, why don't I print this really big? I've always wanted to have a 7 foot tall alien. You know, I'm 5'8". 7 foot tall is pretty darn big. And that's going to look amazing if I put it back here in the corner once it's done. So I recently became an affiliate with Polymaker. A part, I recently became a partner with Polymaker and I contacted them and I told them what I wanted to do. And they got back with me and they said they'd like to support my project. I'm not sure if they really know how many rolls we're talking about, but they sent me a coupon code and I was able to get five rolls with it. Well, four and a half. I paid ten bucks on one of them. But I got five rolls of film and I started printing. And I want to do a Xenomorph Alien. So when I printed this one out of resin, this was printed in three pieces. The legs, the torso, and the tail. And I figured, well, I have Lubam on my computer, which is an awesome program for cutting up models, scaling, slicing. It does many, many great things. So I took the one-piece model, I put that in Lubam, and Matt German, a friend of mine over in the UK, Tactile 3D Pictures, I'll put a link to him down below in the description, assisted me in Lubam since he works with it a lot and I don't on how to size up the alien and what to do on the keys and such. We put the alien in, we sized it up. I'd done a test print on a piece of the, one of the pieces of the foot that would print on my Cheaty iFast printer behind me. Well that part came out very blocky and I didn't really like the quality because it was sized up so much. So I contacted Wicked. I got a hold of Gabriel, this man right here on the screen, and he checked with his team on it and he says that if I need to use a three-piece alien to size up those parts. The one-piece files are designed to be printed at that scale or to be shrunk to a mini. So then I'm thinking, okay, fine, I still want seven foot. How am I going to size up three pieces? Pieces. Got a hold of Matt German. He said, hey, go in the 3D Builder. Let's drop into a, a private hangout, a live stream together, offline. And he explained to me and showed me how to size up the parts. We pulled in the model of the one-piece alien that I was currently working with in the 3D Builder along with the three pieces, which I roughly put them together. I'll show you a picture here on the screen of when I pulled the three parts and we lined them up, kind of got the keys just right on everything, and then I could determine how big to make it. Well, once that was done, I went back to Luban with all three parts. And let me look at my paper here for reference, and I'll show you this right here on the screen. We dropped the legs in and it was sized already correctly sized up. There's going to be 32 parts, which will be roughly 10.8 kilograms of filament. And it talks about how many hours it'll take, etc., as you see there on the screen. So I've got five to start with. It says this takes 10. So it's going to be at least another five rolls to finish the leg section so I can start gluing it together. And then when I drop the upper body in, that's going to be a total of 44 parts, which is going to take around 12 rolls of filament, 12 kilograms of filament. And then the tail will be 23 parts, and that will be a little over 6 rolls of filament to do that, as you've seen here on the screen. So it'll be a lot of, a lot of gluing, and something else about the gluing. I cannot use CA glue on this, it would break apart and wouldn't hold. Super glue and CA glue won't work. And if you look at this picture right here on the screen of Paul the Alien, he tipped over on me the other day and he broke everywhere that I had glued in together with CA glue. So I got a hold of Gloop, which is the best stuff on the planet for glue and uh, filament. And they said, sure, we'll sponsor you. So I have some uh, Gloop coming out in the mail. Gloop is going to be sponsoring my build on this video. Amazing stuff. It fuses together and will not ever break at the joint where it was glued. The model will break first. Amazing stuff. They have it for ABS, for PETG, um, for PLA. And it's really amazing stuff. My whole model will be done in PLA. And right here, let me cut away and I'll show you some pictures of everything I have printed right now. And here we are. We have 14 of 32 parts for the lower leg section as pictured here on the screen. Yeah, it's been fun. The 
parts were cut up to fit the iFast, basically. And uh, some of them were small enough that I could put on my Bamboo Lab X1 Carbon. So I printed them, a lot of them, on the Bamboo Lab X1 Carbon. And then if they were too large, I put them on the iFast. And then when I finally ran out of filament and all, all said and done on the Bamboo Labs, I ran out of black filament out of the five rolls. So I made it up with a different filament that I had, which is a green that you see there that, to complete that part. And all the rolls are right here. Here's all the evidence. And I'm using Polylite PLA. It is black. And let's see here. These three rolls are completely empty. And as you can see, those two rolls don't have enough on it to do anything. So, yeah, went through the first five rolls. I will save these as the build goes on and show them in all the videos. And when I get all done, I'll stack up the rolls versus the height of the alien. We'll see how many spools I got. But, yeah, um, it's getting there. Well, as I mentioned, I've contacted my person at Polymaker and... I'm just waiting to see about getting more filament so I can keep printing. I have a bunch of keys I printed out in a different filament. I've done a test key to make sure it fit, and then I printed out a bunch. I do need a lot more keys that they do, they do fit in there to help me line up the parts when I go to glue them, when I get my glue in the mail. They fit perfectly fine. All these parts are numbered. When you uh, slice these up in Luban, you can put a number on them. You can make the keys whatever size you want. And I have anywhere from 10 to 15 percent infill in these lower pieces for the lower legs for strength to make it a lot stronger. So in the next video, I plan on hopefully having the rest of the legs done. I can show them to you and we can get them all glued up and uh, we'll see how he's coming along. But the Xenomorph Alien Project is underway at 7 foot tall. And thank you very much for Polymaker for being a sponsor. Oh, I'm a Polymaker partner now. And I have an affiliate link. I'll show it right here on the screen and in the description. If you would please use my link to go buy yourself some Polymaker filament. It will help out this channel immensely. I get a very small commission on everything you buy. It will help me out greatly on my channel and on this build. And I guess that's about it, guys. Xenomorph Alien, Wicked 3D, Slice in Luban. Um, Gloop is sponsoring the, all the glue for this project. It will be coming in the mail. You'll see it in the next video. And... Uh, yeah, and then Polymaker, thank you very much for being my sponsor for this video. I really appreciate it. I'm probably going to take my shelves back there and maybe cut part of them down. Maybe remove the hypercube, cut part of my countertop down. That way I have room to have that alien back there in that corner. That way, whenever I do a video live stream, you've got a 7 foot tall Xenomorph alien looking at you. And then I'll make a tag on it that says Polymaker and all the sponsors. We'll make a tag and I'll put that on that alien. But I really appreciate it. Please like, subscribe, and share. Until the next video, guys. I'll, you know, happy printing. Have a great day. Later.